Hey, what's going on? Yeah, peeps, how are you doing? Uh, how's it going? Listen, so today it is a beautiful snowy day here in the KC area. I'm going to pick up the blueprints for the secondary structure that is going to be on our property. Uh, this is the barn house, uh, half barn, half house. And so the other half of the uh, building is going to be a house. <clears throat> and this is where my in-laws are going to live, right? Uh, so as they're getting older, uh, they know it kind of makes sense to uh, be closer to family, I guess that, uh, uh, and then they also kind of, they kind of gel with the way that we live as well, We're kind of like a, a homestead type lifestyle uh, where we, you know, we like to grow some food and uh, kind of work with our hands, that sort of thing. So um, yeah, I mean, that's the idea. So right now I'm going to pick up those prints and then I'm headed off to the builder uh, to meet with him uh, that they're using to build this outbuilding. And so that's where we're off to. So let me talk a little bit more about kind of what we're doing uh, as I'm driving to, to pick up the blueprints here. So we're making, we're building a, a main house, right? It's just a kind of a traditional style a ranch. In our county, they allow you to build uh, an accessory dwelling unit. Uh, so an accessory unit is kind of like, uh, you know, like an outbuilding or a pole barn or something like that, right? Or a, a I don't know, a shed. Um, in that case, I mean, in, in most cases, sheds that aren't like, they are not physically fixed uh, permanent structures. They don't have to have like permits pulled or anything like that. Um, so if you have like a shed that's on skids or something, um, you don't really you don't really have to call anybody to tell them you're doing that. Uh, but if you're doing something more beefy, like a, like an outbuilding, you got to pull permits for that. And there's different kinds of buildings you can do. One of which is an accessory dwelling unit. So it's a, it's an accessory unit in addition to the main structure that you can uh, dwell in. So it can have uh, up to a certain amount of square footage, have uh, you know bedrooms, bathrooms, that sort of thing. So in our county, you can have uh, a, an accessory dwelling unit that has up to 850 square feet of livable space and uh, or a third of the main structure right <clears throat> so if you have a 3,000 square foot house you can have a thousand square feet uh, in that uh, second building right uh, so in our case we're building a kind of a two bed one bath uh, house uh, in this uh, barn and or this outbuilding and we are uh, it's going to be just enough for my in-laws to have, you know, I think a, a good amount of space they're not going to have to really worry about so much uh, as they're getting older and that sort of thing. And so, yeah, that's the plan. Uh, we're also planning on using that outbuilding as a place to store, obviously, their cars and just a place to work on cars or other things, right? A place to store the tractors and other equipment um, for storage, that sort of thing. We're also building a sauna. Uh, inside the uh, inside that building as well so that'll be cool I'm so looking forward to that because although Kansas City winters aren't super uh, they're not super harsh uh, they're still winters and I'm still Russian so I do love me some sauna so that's what we're gonna do and that is the plan Stan I'm gonna go Anyway, so let's check out these prints. We're gonna go pick them up. Oh yeah, there you go. Got the plans, my friends. 
uh, 25 bucks. Have them printed. So I'm taking these to the builder. We're gonna get it done. All right, so I'm gonna stop. It's about lunchtime here. Uh, I still got a little bit of maybe 30 minutes drive. Uh, I'm just gonna stop and grab a little bit of bite to eat. Uh, not a whole lot of selection here, but I'm gonna get something. Make a U-turn at Bob F. Griffin Road. I'm not ready to make a U-turn. Hold on, Mr. Googles, or Mrs. Googles. Uh, yeah, um, you guys have like a dollar menu? No, we do not have a dollar menu. Can I do a Junior Cheeseburger Deluxe? Okay, what, what else? Uh, that's it. Alright, your title is $1.88, it's the first one Alright, thanks. Dude, I forgot how much I don't care for fast food. Oh well, that's what you got. I'm gonna eat it. There you go. Thanks, you too. Thanks. I used to eat these Junior Cheeseburger Deluxes back when they used to be a dollar. And they had a dollar menu at Wendy's. Oh man, I used to be a, such a chunker. Man, hit that like if you uh, if you used to do the same thing. We used to go there like every other day. We'd skate around and then stop at Wendy's. And for like four dollars, you'd get a baked potato, a Turn chili. Left on US Shut up! West. You get a baked potato. You get a chili. You get a Junior Cheeseburger Deluxe. And like a smoothie or frosty, uh, frosty thing. I was like, no wonder I was like 250 pounds at 16 years old. Anyway, I'm gonna get some. It didn't sound all that great. Nothing on the menu sounded that great. So we'll see. Oh yeah, I mean it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad. The patties look a little thin, thinner than they used to. Feels like you're biting into air. Squishy air. In 800 feet, turn right onto the I-35 North Ramp. Now I got you. Well, we're about to take the exit here into Amish country. The people that are building this barn house for my in-laws are Amish. So it's an Amish company. And that's why I gotta go over there. They don't have emails or anything. I mean, they got phones. So I gotta go into the office. I can't just email them the plans or anything like that. I got I had to get a printed copy. So I don't know. So yeah, it's been snowing all morning. So I mean, the highways, are, the, the main interstates cleared. I don't know if uh, the highway in Amish country is gonna be cleared. So I don't know if they got like plows on their buggies or whatnot, but. We'll see. We'll see. You know what? At least they give you napkins at Wendy's um, with your to-go. All right. I once went to McDonald's in Colorado Springs, got me a breakfast sandwich, and they basically threw all the ingredients into the bag and said, "Here you go." I had to put it. I had to assemble it myself in my lap. I was not happy. Thanks, Wendy's. You rule, McDonald's up your game, at least the Colorado Springs one, or at least the one that I went to, because I'm sure there's more. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? All right, we're here, and now it's time to go in and have a meeting. I'm a little early, but that's all right. I think he said come a little early anyway, because he wanted to get out of the office a little earlier. So, let's go see what's up. Done with the, the building with the Amish folk 
and super awesome, really nice people. Um, I think they're going to do a great job. They do a they do a really good job. I've seen a lot of the work um, uh, of theirs around. So I, I think they're going to do great here for this. And it's going to be good because it's again they kind of take care of everything. Um, and with my build and construction going on on the main house, I think I'm going to not have a whole lot of time to kind of focus in on on the the outbuilding. So this will be good. And uh, it's just crazy right now with the lumber prices, with scheduling and everything else. Um, we're scheduled out a little bit, um, but it is what it is, right? We got to get this built. We got to get the house built. And at the end of the day, you know, we're not builders, so it's not like this is eating into our, you know, our revenue or it's not eating, eating into our sale. Um, right or net profits or anything like that it's it's houses we're gonna be living in and at the end of the day that appreciates so I'm not too worried about lumber prices to be honest it is what it is anyway just a short vid he gave me some good pointers on my house and kind of just the whole building process and everything else I kind of walked over my blueprints with him uh, so just super nice guy willing to kind of go the extra mile and spend some extra time with me on that but uh, Y'all take it easy. I'll see you later. Peace.